Do you like me, Billy? Do you think I'm pretty? You make me laugh. Now take off my shirt. This guy the other day asked me for a pen. I said, what do I look like? A car salesman? Look at those guys. Nothing but a bunch of sharks. I say, don't look at them. And don't say anything. Remember, we're not here to buy a car. We're only here for the free pens. Good morning, gentlemen. My name is Mahesh Suresh. Can I be of some service? So, you like the Lexus? Uh, it runs 28,000 sticker. Well, how reasonable. You're practically giving this car away. How do you guys manage to stay in business? Uh, yes, well, we try to stay competitive. <laughs> Uh, would you like to come inside and look at the brochure? Is that where you keep those free pens? Uh, yes. Dad, I'll be right in. Hello? Hi, Billy. Sophie? I have plans for you. Plans? It's a surprise. Do you like surprises? What is it? It's a thing. You'll be screaming my name. Hold that thought. I'll be over as soon as I can. I'd like to call up our next comic. A very funny guy from Roswell, New Mexico, Billy Newman. Thank you. Thank you, that cheered me up. I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Yeah, uh, I found my first gray hair. No, no, that's not the sad part. The sad part, it was growing out of my testicle. Yeah. Which means I'm turning into my dad, and that scares me, because my dad's nuts. What the hell is that? Door handle from the house. And why do you have the door handle from the house? I was watching a program on 60 Minutes about Los Angeles and about the break-ins they're having. So I took off the door handles. That way, a thief wouldn't break in because a thief wouldn't carry an extra door handle. And I suppose you want me to do the same, right? Merely a suggestion. One thing has cheered me up. I'm in love for the very first time in my life. And yeah, you should all try it. Uh, I'm in love for the very first time in my life. It's, it's good time. So where do you want to eat, Dad? Let me guess. Grinders? What's wrong with grinders? They always have some decent priced breakfasts. Just thought you might want to try something new for once, but you're the boss. And how's that little girl of yours? I haven't been with her for weeks. We had this conversation last weekend. Okay, here it goes again. Lisa smelled weird, and I mean weird. And Robin was retarded, and Jamie, she blinked loudly. Blink loudly? What's that? When she blinked, it was loud. Very annoying when you're trying to watch TV. Strange, I don't know if that's a good excuse. Any other women? Yeah, a couple others. A couple of others? You know, it's difficult to juggle several women at one time. Sooner or later, it's gonna explode in your face. I can handle it, Dad. My son, so much experience and knowledge at such a young age. Hey, pull over there. What? Pull over there. Hey, kid. Not bad. We still have some work to do, though. Thanks. Did it really happen like that? What are you gonna do about your dad? Oh, I got it all figured out. You know, I'll, I'll pick him up, drop him off, rush through the morning, then uh, pick up Sophie and meet, continue my relations with the French. You're just gonna blow your dad off? No, not exactly. 
Listen, I'm a grown man, all right? I can make my own decisions. Right or wrong, they're my decisions. I'm just saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Hey, kid, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. I hate small places. I could throw up all over you. Oh, uh, please have a seat. Uh, can I get you something to drink? Yeah. Two sweet teas. Sweet teas? Uh, with lemon. I I'll see what I can do. Dad, is this gonna take much longer? I'm getting really hungry. Relax, relax. I got them exactly where I want them. I wonder where they keep the free pens. Dad, you're gonna throw us out of here. So who is she? What? The girl you're meeting today. You know, a father can tell these things, you know. You see, I'm in love with a hot, sexy, exotic woman. We went on our first date last night. I always hate first dates, always these awkward moments. It didn't help that she's foreign, and I'm sarcastic. It didn't help there. But I've never dated a foreign girl before. But before I knew it, we are in the back seat of my car, making out, hands exploring. When she stops me, she says, Do you like me, Billy? Do you think I'm pretty? You make me laugh. Now take off my shirt. Now who am I to deny her of anything, right? So off comes her shirt, off comes my shirt, and then she says, Billy, take off your pants. And off come my pants. I mean, who are we fooling here? We know what we came here to do. And then she says, and this I'll never forget for the rest of my life. She says, Billy, do you want to put your penis in your mouth? Freaks. Confused. I ask her to repeat herself. She says, Do you want to put your penis in your mouth? Now, I've never been to France, not gonna lie. But I think this is where we might differ as nations. But I think to myself, okay, she's a little mixed up in her English. I know what she's trying to say. But then there's a part of me that thinks maybe she really does want to see my penis in my mouth. I don't know. So I try to come up with a generic answer. So I say, well, of course, I'd like to do that. And she says, well, then, go ahead. Well, folks, I don't want to bore you with the details, but let's just say I'm glad I'm taking yoga, and I'm really looking forward to seeing her tomorrow before she moves back to France. Thank you, that's my time. Well, that certainly seems important. Did you need something? No, I was just looking uh, for the pens. Okay. Uh, those sweet teas should be coming right up. Say, Mr. Sales, how do you feel about being a salesman? Uh, well, uh, I enjoy it. It's very challenging. I was telling my son here that maybe you ought to go into the business of being a car salesman. In the business school, he wants to be a comedian. He wants to have fun. He needs to learn that all jobs are boring. Am I right? I mean, the only real fun job would be chief breaking man in a whorehouse. That would be real fun, breaking in new whores. What do you think of that? Uh, yes, that would truly be something. Uh, I'm going to go check on those teas. Not cool. No. This guy chose to be a salesman for whatever reason. And like him, you'll only be judged for the choices you make. You guys must be here for the free pens. Hmm. I'll choose to wait for you outside. So this guy the other day asked me for a pen. I said, what do I look like? A car salesman? So I checked his credit. Turns out he was in the Navy, which I thought was odd because I always wanted to be in the Navy. I thought it'd be nice, you know, take a cruise, see the world, get a tan. It's also a great place to meet women because I like women in uniform. Wow. 
Wow, that's what I call service. Just didn't want you boys to be late. Oh, yes. My son has a big, important date with a random girl. Isn't that right, Billy? In a rush, can a father have a nice breakfast with his son? Dad, you wasted the whole morning at the car lot. What's more important than a boy's father? I got it. The Navy. What? Join the Navy, take a cruise, see the world. You make it sound so glamorous. Yeah, a, a cabana boy playing shuffleboard, drinking mojitos with little paper umbrellas. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You get some sun, a tan maybe, and maybe even meet an island girl maybe. Island girl? Dad, I'd be on some battleship filled with guys, okay, sleeping in a bunk above a guy, underneath another guy. Island girl. I'll leave this with you boys. This one's on me. What a hot woman. She's something like, like an African goddess. Dad, eat your food. It's all the same with you kids. Rush, rush. Sometimes you have to relax and enjoy your coffee. Can I uh, enjoy my cup of coffee? You can enjoy your coffee. Until the African goddess comes back with my car. You boys behave yourselves now. We certainly will. OK, let's get the hell out of here. What's the matter? Did you screw up? No. How the hell did she expect me to sign this damn thing? Great, I, I'm never getting out of here. Have them around when you need them. That was good. I just thought I'd help you with some new material. Real comedy comes from life. There she is. Hey, can we get a refill on our coffee? Sure thing, sure. Who are you calling? Sophie. It's, it's Billy. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm not going to be able to make it today. So, you broke your big important date. No, I didn't, Dad. That waitress was something. You know what they say about an African goddess, don't you? No. What do they say? <laughs>